So today I want to show you the process of building a patch in VC VREC for the 4MS meta module, and in this process we will build a multi-layered voice patch that we can use with the modular, and also by the way you can use this in VC VREC without the meta module, so if you want to patch a fun voice with me for your music, you will still find this video interesting, but in any case this is how it will sound like. Okay, so the first thing we need is the VCV version of the meta module, this one here, with this module we can make the connections and map the controls to later use with the hardware module. So we can name this patch, we can call this for example complex voice, and we will have a few layers. The first layer will be the Befaco kick all module, we will need also a way to mix everything, so I will use the VCA mix module from VCV. Right, this will go already to the audio output just so we can listen to things, but we can also connect it already to the uh, meta module, right? I will use output one, this will be also the actual output on the hardware module, so we just have to connect the cable to output one, and from there we will get the mix. And we can already map some controls to kick all, but first of all, I have kick all here set or tuned to the note C, and I would like to be able to control its octaves to transpose it up and down in octaves. So something we can do is use the VCV oct module. Again, everything is available on the meta, on the hardware meta module. The oct module will go to the tune input and now I can transpose this up and down in octaves. Right, so let's start mapping a few things. First of all, we have knob sets, right? We can have different sets of knobs. So let's say, or mapping, so let's say that the first one will be kick all. Right, and now the A knob, if I move this here a bit. Right, and now the A knob, I can click the outer line here, you can see it turns red, and then I can map things, so I can map here the octave control and now I have control over the octaves, and again, I can also map this, so if I right click it, I can select the range, you will see this later on, and I can also name it, so if I name this octave, for example, this is how it will appear also on the, on the hardware module, so it's easier to know what control controls which parameter. Right, let's continue, let's say for example, B will control, let me activate this, we'll control the decay for example, so again also this we can name decay, and then C will control the shape, and again we can name this, and now this is how it will appear, right, I can change the octaves, will appear on the hardware module, I can change the decay and also the shape. We also have, let me map this also, we also have bend, and time, I'm not going to name them, um, you saw how it is, you just right click and you enter a name, I just want to save some time in this video. And for testing this, I will use for now, just so we can listen to it, my MIDI controller. Right, so we have pitch, in this case it will go through the oct module, and we have gate, it will trigger kick all. And now I can play this with my keyboard, so let's add some, oh, of course we can, we have to connect this also to the mixer, this will be input one. Take a control of the decay. Right, so we have our first layer, and let's add another layer. The next layer will be a sort of a percussive FM voice with two FM operators from Bog Audio. One will be the modulator, so the output will go to the FM input. One will be the carrier or the oscillator, the operator will listen to. This will go to channel two on the mixer. Also here I would like to have octave control or ratio control of both oscillators. So I'm going to use two octave modules and again connect them to the volt per octave inputs. Again, I will use my MIDI controller, so the volt per octave will go to the oct modules and the uh, gate output will go to the gate input of both operators. And let's again map things, so in this case I will use a new knob set, this will be FM operator, 
And now we will have, let's say, A will be FM depth. And again, we can, map, we can uh, name everything. B will be the modulator octave. Then with C, we can have the carrier octave. With D, we can control the feedback of the carrier. And then E, we can control the decay of the carrier. Now decay in this case, I will map this twice, once to the decay, and I can create another mapping to the release. Because depending if I use triggers or gates uh, later on with the modular, sometimes decay will have an effect and sometimes release will have an effect. And then we can have F also for the decay and release of the modulator, right? So we have a few controls that we can shape and sculpt the sound, right? So if we listen to this, maybe I'll take kick all out for a second. Right, this is FM depth. You can control the ratio, add some feedback. More decay for the carrier, less decay for the modulator. Right, so we already have the second layer and let's add another one with dark energy in this case from the geodesics. Right, this will go to input 3 on the filter. Now dark energy is also a built-in envelope and VCA if you just activate here the amp. Again, I will use my MIDI controller, so the volt per octave will go to the volt per octave, and the gate in this case will go to the external mode here, which is basically the envelope uh, trigger or gate input. Right, and in this case, also here we have two oscillators. We have M and we have C. So I will use again two oct modules, right, because I would like to control the octaves of both. And this will go to the individual frequency inputs. And again, let's create another set of knobs. This will be Opalach. This will be Dark Energy. And now A will be the octaves for the M oscillator. B will be the octaves for the C oscillator. With C, we can control the decay maybe of the envelope. And again, we can name everything. I'm just uh, not doing this to save some time. D will be, let's say, the cross modulation for the M oscillator, basically shaping the timbre. And then with E, we can shape the timbre of both oscillators with the self mode M and with the self mode C. Right, so now if again I we just listen to this is now just the dark energy. Right, we can control the octaves. Right, and the decay. And timbre. And let's listen to everything being in the kick all. Maybe on kick all, and again, we have the different set of knobs on kick all. Can I have less of a punch? So we have three layers now that we can use and let's create another mapping page, another knob set and this one will be for the mixer. Right, so we have A for channel 1, B for channel 2, C for channel 3 and then D will be for the mix level. And let's make a few more connections. So first of all, instead of the MIDI module, again, we will use the meta module. So instead of using the gate from the MIDI, we will use gate one. This will be the gate input on the hardware module. And this will be routed or connected to the different trigger and gate inputs on our oscillators. And then for pitch, let's say that we will use input uh, one in this case. So again, the volt per octave will come from input one. So on the hardware module, when we connect sequences to input one, they will go to the different layers. Now we don't need the MIDI module anymore. Right, so again, this will be the inputs on the hardware module for gates and pitch. Let's also use or have inputs or modulation inputs for the decay and the shape on um, 
kick all but as you can see we don't have any attenuation here but of course we can add this here in vcv for example 4ms as a dual attenuverter here that we can use right so let's say that the modulation will come from input 2 and input 3 right so on the hardware module when we connect something to these inputs they will go to the attenuverter and then this attenuverter will go to the decay and to the shape and now we can map also the attenuverters right so we have here also smaller knobs if i go to the to kick all right i can map for example one of them to one attenuverter the other one to the second attenuverter and now i can control it and like this we can add modulation from the modular now i would also like to have modulation for the fm depth on the fm operator but in this case uh, with most bog audio modules as soon as we connect something to the cv input the knob itself in this case the depth knob will become an attenuator which means that we will not be able to control it manually so for this what we can do we can use for example the cv mix module the vcv cv mix right this will go to the depth input on the fm operator the depth will go now all the way up right and now the modulation will go through channel one so let's say input four this will be on the hardware module this will go to channel one right this will control the modulation depth right and again we can map this if i go to the fm operator i can map another small uh, controller here to the first channel and actually if you look at this you can see the cv mix is actually an attenuverter so it will also invert the signal in this case with this module with the fm operator there is no need for negative voltages so if i right click the knob here on meta we can set the minimum and maximum values if i set the minimum to 50 percent right something like this now all the way left on meta will mean 50 percent or will mean center here on the cv mix so we don't get negative values we don't get inverted voltage right and now on the cv mix itself the second control here because there is nothing connected to the input the second controller the second knob will send offset it will send voltage to the depth input which will mean that we can use this instead of the depth control if i right click it I can unmap it and then map the controller we had before to the second channel here on CV mix and this will send offset also here there is no need for negative voltages so I can just set this to minimum of 50 percent right and now with this I can send offset and control sort of control the depth manually and add modulation if I want to from the modular now we can also add modulation for dark energy right let's say this will be five and six we have here cross index and we have here self index right two different types of modulation um, that we can use again on dark energy if i go to this page i can map two more knobs one will be the cross one will be the self right and now like this we can control or attenuate right the incoming modulation if we choose to use something and we can have also more output so for example if we choose to um, process kick all or the fm operator or dark energy separately individually from the mix now we connected them and we have three more outputs on the hardware module that we can use and route them throughout our system now all we have to do is hit here save and save the patch load it onto the hardware module and this is more or less it it's not too complex but still can be a nice addition to a system so let's really see how this works with the hardware module so here I have the patch loaded in the meta module, in the hardware meta module, kick all, FM operator, dark energy, the mixers, the attenuators, everything is here. I will switch to the knob view, right, just so we can see exactly what's going on. You can see here the different mappings, so the mixer, then there's another page, kick all, FM operator, dark energy, just like everything we set up in VCV rec. And I have here a whole patch set up, so let's really see what's going on. First of all, to sequence this, I'm using here the octone. This is sending pitch through a quantizer and also triggers. Right, so if I bring in now kick all right, and uh, let me switch to the meta module, we can see here 
the mixer, right? So I can bring in kick all. Right? And let's change the sound of kick all a bit before I show you the rest of the patch, right? So of course we can change the octaves. Decay. Right, shape. And again, we can add some bend. Right, exactly like we've set up in VCV Rec. Right, but I have here the output of this uh, of the mixer of the mix um, going through a filter. I have here the Ikari filter. Right, just to add a bit more color, a bit more analog color to everything. And also I have here the voltage block that I can use to modulate the shape, for example, of kick all. Right, so again, we set up the attenuators in VCV rack, and here we have the shape attenuator, so I can add some modulation to it. Right, so now we have some movement Again, triggers coming to the gate input, pitch to input one, and here input three is the modulation we set up for kick all, right that I have coming from the voltage block. Let's go again to the mixer and bring in now also the FM operator. And let's change the sound a bit. So now I have all the controls, right, basically set up for me. Let's bring also now dark energy, mix it also, let me maybe open the filter a bit. Right, so now bring in dark energy and again change the settings, maybe more decay. So we have now three layers, again, just like we set up in VCV Rec. Also here I have modulation, you can see I have two cables that are again coming from the voltage block. Right, and again in VCV Rec we set up 10 inverters. So we have now three layers that we can use, we can modulate, we can sequence, and now I have this voice always saved here. I can always use it, load it up and use it, experiment with different modulation sources, different settings, different levels, and so on. Right now, another thing we can do is we can, again, we have also the individual outputs Right, so we have kick all on one, uh, FM operator that I'm not using at the moment, and dark energy. So for example, we can process dark energy externally. Right, so we have the mix from the meta module, but we also have the individual outputs. And this I'm sending here to Magneto, right? So I'm processing the dark energy oscillator. To Magneto. With pitch shifting. more. You can 
also add more voices to it I have here maybe you can see this the STO with another sequence right and again we have also the kick all coming from its individual output that we can process also something I like doing is using branches here and that I have from mutable instruments I'm using it uh, to crush the signal, to distort it basically. So I'm sending it through the distortion and then to a filter that I have here, the Freak filter. Right. So we have all of this going on. Right, we have the three channels, dark energy, kick all, and the FM operator, with modulation, with sequencing, with processing the uh, voices individually. And I can use the other modules in my system to process things. So again, you can see how fun this can be. You can sit in VCV Rack and you can program patches, you can program voices, all sorts of different setups that then you can load into Meta and work with it with your modular system. And that was it. Thank you again for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Cheers.